Hey guys, so a bit of a different video today. It's just me in front of a camera. Sorry guys, it's just one of those uh, weeks, I think this week. My kids are off school as well, so it's summer holidays here in the UK. So it's very difficult for me over the last few weeks to actually produce any decent content. You've maybe noticed that, maybe not. You guys can be the commenters on that if you want to. Yesterday was a very frustrating day. I got this Cardass 2, Vim 2 should I say, um, development board. It's the first of its kind to feature the S912 Amalogic processor in it and I was really looking forward to seeing how well Ubuntu ran on it. And unfortunately there is no images for it so it doesn't work. It's really well made but it is a good board and once we finally get around to seeing what Cardass have got to say for themselves, considering whether things actually work on it because they've just got Android on it at the moment and I'm not interested in showing you guys Android on the S912, we've done that to death. So I just want to see Ubuntu running and see how well it runs when it comes from a company that's you know dedicated to making their images for their development boards. So we shall get back to that at some point. LibreLeck has uh, um, obviously released an update, so KZAC has obviously released the update to go along with that for the S805 and S905X devices. Fantastic work by KZAC as usual, he does a fantastic job when it comes to the LibreLeck port for the S805 and S905 TV boxes. If you guys want to update you can, and um, just the usual way, tire update into the update folder using the Samba process. I'll leave the links in the description to see their tutorials on how to actually do that if you're unfamiliar. Matt has also updated it over on their Facebook group and he says it's fantastic. Wouldn't expect it any other way. So yeah, so that's as, that's as far as those updates. Um, Scott Leck, uh, which is going to be an attempt by us to bring LibreLeck and our game system all rolled into one operating system. That's coming along quite slowly. The um, compiling, the way to compile it, it's taken forever. There's a few issues and getting it to run properly, again, a few issues. So hopefully we can get, get past that over the next few weeks and get this out to you because it's going to be a really interesting development. But um, apart from that, yeah, that's pretty much it really for this video. Um, there's not much to really comment on. There's not much, much going on really. Hopefully we can um, get some more videos out to you guys this week. So yeah, don't forget TX2 competition running at the moment to get us up to 2,000 subscribers. If you want to help us share, share videos and like and comment and do all that good stuff. And yeah, I hope we can get to the 2,000 subscribers and I can announce the winner of the TX2 Android TV box. Thanks for watching guys and we shall see you on the next one.